Nice one. He feels like he's at least five pounds. He's a big one. Beautiful. All right, I got him. Well, this video is going to be about uh, getting ready for uh, gar pike fishing. Because I was thinking of going fishing tomorrow, but I didn't really know what to go fish for, and it's August. And I remember last year, my, my son and I went for gar pike. We seen some videos online where they took, you know, rope, and they took this part of an old string there. They took a variety of different things and just put it on hooks. Well, we're gonna super glue ours on. And when when the gar bites it, the hook, the only purpose of the hook is to hold the bait. What's gonna catch the gar pike is the material. The material's gonna catch him. He's gonna get his teeth caught in there. I got uh, two or three videos already online where, where, uh, where we caught gar pike. And we can see us using these in the videos. But I figured I'd do a video on it, so. I had a friend that fishes a canal a lot. He's been getting lots of lots of good runs and bites, but then but then when they pull, they get nothing. Well, that's what happens with the gar pike. They'll just pull your bait off, but with the material, they'll get their they'll get their teeth stuck in it. And this is for the long nose gar pike. That's what we got in New York State. They don't get monstrous, but we caught my son got one about ten pounds and. The state record isn't much more than that. I don't know, maybe 15. But they're fun to catch and something to do. So I'm going to get started making these. So let's give her a go, Max. I'm just taking some of this material and I'm just going to wrap it around here. A couple of times, wrap it on, wrap it on the hook. I don't, I, you don't want to get the glue in the eye, so. Just wrap it around there two or three times. No. Now we're going to get something to hold it in place. This hook is about a it's about a uh, number two eagle claw hook. You know, in the snow, if you buy them in the snow packs, it's like a number two. The size of the hook don't matter too much because the hook's not going to really catch the fish. The uh, the material is going to catch the fish, so. So we're just putting some on, wrapping it. And now I'm gonna use some of this string. I call it string, but it's it's material for doing egg sacs. It's, uh, you just wrap it two or three times, pull on it, and break it off. And then we just put a couple dabs of super glue on there. But you gotta let it dry overnight. Put some super glue on, let it dry overnight, and you will not be able to pull this off the hook, and neither will the guard pike. And believe me, it works because you just watch the videos and you will see. You see how good we did. I'm not good at tying, so with this stuff, you can get it's, it's merciful. It lets you get away with a lot. You just wrap it two or three times and pull it. And pull it tight, and it's there. Now, just a couple of drops of super glue. And that one's pretty much good to go. You know, let it dry and then you can stress it out like that. Put a piece a piece of bait on that hook. You can have this longer too. We, we make some longer, shorter, but I'm just doing this for demonstration. Put your bait on the hook and, and uh, they'll, they'll get the bait, but they'll also get the thread and they won't be able to get their teeth out of the thread and you will catch them. Because I've lost so many fish. I was getting bite after bite after bite and runs, they take it and I pulled nothing. Couldn't set the hook. I tried circle hooks, I tried regular hooks. And then I watched a couple videos of someone doing this. And I said, oh, I'm going to try it myself. And, and last year we did. And I went down the next day and boom. We were catching them the very next day. The fish that I was missing, one after another, started catching them. And, and they're fun to catch and, and they're interesting fish. And they say they're delicious to eat, but, but they're as tough as an alligator. And that's why they're called maybe alligator gar. Well, in New York State, we've got long nose gar. 
the Jimmy Durandy ones. Okay, now we're gonna do a. We did this white one. We're gonna do this other one out of this green material. This is actually off an old Springer that that I got from a friend of mine that passed away, and I made some um in his memory. And it actually looks like a frog in the water. I mean, I was amazed. It just it turned out that way. I didn't intend it to, but it turned out that way. It looked like a frog in the water. If you you know and. And I was getting hit after hit with it. So we're going to do one of them next. We're going to do the, the green stringer one. I'm going to do the, uh, the green one now. I call it the green frog one. All you got to do is get a hook here. Okay. Alright, we got a hook in the mouth. Sticking the vise. I'm just putting the eye of the hook in the vise. To hold it. Because I don't want the glue getting in the eye of the hook. Okay, now we just got to wrap some of this around there, same, the same way, pretty much, right Max, Max what you doing, yeah, he's just laying down, a little hot, I don't have the air conditioner on at the moment, because of the noise, I can't stand the noise it makes, but the dog loves it, so, I'll be turning it on when this video's done, and now we're going to take some magic thread, I forgot the name of the stuff, but I found the package. Magic thread. Some of this magic thread works great. This stuff is great stuff. We're gonna take some of this magic thread and just that's what it's called right here. Magic thread. Magic thread. Use that for doing egg sacks for salmon. For salmon eggs. Trout eggs. Here's the thread. This, this is a green. See, we're doing green. I'd like a little green on there. I ripped a smidge out of it off. And all you gotta do is put it in there. I'm wrap it three or four times. Wrap it three or four times. Give her a pull and you're good to go. Put a dab of a circle glue on it. And we just put a couple of dabs of super glue on here. Sometimes you get a chemical reaction, the stuff will actually get hot from the super glue. But it will not come off. It will not come off that hook. You'll you will break your line be before the before the stump, the stuff will come off the hook. The fish will break your line first. It stays on that good. But you gotta let it dry, dry overnight. You let it dry overnight and you're good to go. And this will look like a little frog coming through the water. But we're basically fishing on the bottom. Put a, Put a piece of bait, live or dead. You can you can use a live man. You could put live bait on there, but but we use the uh, we just chunk our bait up. If I'm using chubs, I'll cut them in pieces or just step on them, you know. And fresh, you know, fresh fresh is always better than frozen. But frozen will work too. You could use crayfish or whatever a piece of shrimp. They're, they're not too fussy. They'll almost bite on almost anything. I'm, I'm pretty sure them guard pipe will. So, you know, it's only my second year of fishing for them, but, but I didn't know how to catch them, but now I do. Now, now we'll see how many we get. I think we may go tomorrow, depends on, you know, depends on uh, what happens in the morning. I think we may go tomorrow. I don't know for sure. We'll wait till we wake up, and if the good Lord's what says me and Max will be headed for the old orchard and see if we can catch some gar pike. So folks, you want to try some different type of fishing, give gar pike a try. Long nose gar in New York State. I don't know. I, they're, I, they're in other states too, but we don't have the big, big gar pike like to do in the south. But they're fun to catch. So, And this, this lure is cheap to make. I just put some bait on it and and you're good to go. Throw it out there and just wait. And uh, they will hook themselves. I guarantee you. Guaranteed. 
all right thanks for watching our videos may the good lord take a liking to you and don't let the game vultures get you max they're coming for you bud they're coming